Hey guys, I'm Amanda, the Botanical Brunette, and welcome to my channel. So you guys probably already know what this video is gonna be about. It's gonna be all about my fiddle leaf fig. plant that I have been told is like notorious for being super hard to care for super like uh, people kind of just steer clear of these trees because they're like I've heard horror stories about fiddly figs that's why they got the nickname the fickle fiddle so this is fig real fitting right I have another one named Newton, which I'm gonna go grab, and then I have a small one that I haven't named yet. So if you guys have a good name for it, leave a comment below and let me know what you guys would name it. But this is Fig, and um, he's a big boy. I got him around three years ago. Um, I actually got him as a gift for my birthday one year from a couple coworkers. He was like a one foot tall, bushy little guy. And now he's around three to four feet tall, I believe. Um, but don't don't look at him and think like, oh, she just had an easy time with this plant because we have had battles. Um, I even have a blog on this so you guys can kind of read the battles that we have gone through. I'm not gonna tell them all today, but we have had mealybugs, spider mites. He has dropped leaves because of, he didn't like where he was, so I had to move him. Um, it's just, they're very picky and he probably will, he probably will uh, not like being moved over here, but the lighting is better, so. <laughs> this fiddly fig and I have had our battles, but we have come to, kind of move past that. Um, so what I do to care for this guy, he's sitting on the side of a southeast facing window. So he gets really bright morning light to like early afternoon. And then it's just kind of just a bright area in here. I water this guy about once a week um, in the spring and summer. So I water about every seven to 10 days. And in the fall and winter, I wind up watering him every 10 to 15 days or more. I kind of will always check the soil moisture. This pot actually does not have a drainage hole. This is probably the only plant that I have left that does not have a drainage hole or does not have like a, not in a grower pot. I do need to repot this guy because he has actually stopped growing. Um, I haven't noticed really any kind of new growth on him, so I'm gonna have to repot him, which I'm actually terrified to do because I know that fiddle leaf figs don't really like to be bothered. Um, like I had mentioned before, I actually had him in a spot for a little while, kind of adapted, and I moved him. I decided, oh, he would look better over here. And once I moved him, he dropped leaves like crazy. Like I'm telling you, like he dropped like at least 10 to 15 leaves. Like every morning I would wake up and it'd be leaves on the ground. And I'm like, what the heck is your problem? <laughs> so I wound up moving him back because I learned that fiddly figs can be stressed out if they get moved too much. So um, we might lose a few leaves <laughs> since I moved him over. And I've also moved his siblings over too, which I will show you in a minute. I am surrounded by fiddly figs right now. When I, so when I moved the fiddly fig and started dropping leaves, then I moved it back and it dropped more leaves. I turned to the internet and I was like, please, like I need help, like I need some tips. And the one thing that I kept seeing pop up was Super Thrive. You guys know if you've seen my other videos, you know that I use Super Thrive in a lot of my plant stuff, like propagations and just, I do Super Thrive on all my plants once a month. It's just a good um, source of vitamins for your plants. So I just do that just to kind of, you know, it's kind of like their multivitamin. 
I also fertilize this plant about once a month as well with the Super Thrive. So um, Super Thrive once a month and then fertilize once a month in the spring and summer. Once I started using Super Thrive on my fiddle leaf fig, especially this boy back here, he stopped dropping leaves. Stopped dropping leaves. And I'm telling you, like, it was within a couple weeks. Now, this is just my experience. There are other reasons why Philly figs may be dropping leaves. It could be light, it could be water, and it could be pests. So I know that when he had mealybugs, he was also dropping leaves pretty rapidly. So it, it could be a number of things if your fiddly fig is dropping leaves. Do know though that if it does drop leaves, they do not grow back. Um, so I will show you um, my medium size. So I'll show you Newton, because <laughs> it's fig, Newton. And I don't have a name for the little one, but let me leave a comment below if you have a good name for the little one. But um, so this one, oh, it's so heavy. This one, she's a little different. So she is uh, in a little bit of a, like a lower light area. I don't know, you guys can't see the whole thing. But this one's struggling a little bit. Um, she probably would enjoy a little bit more light. But um, I have her kind of staked up because she started to kind of droop a little bit and I wanted her stem to be a little bit straighter. But she's doing okay where she is. I'm actually gonna put her back down. She's doing okay where she is. Um, again, she is in a lower light area. So she's in the room that gets the southeast facing um, light, but she's on the other side of the room. So she does get bright light in the morning and early afternoon, but like afternoon to evening, it's pretty dark. And then we have this little guy. This is my little one. And this is actually a propagation from this big guy. So at the bottom, they grow like new, like um, kind of sprouts coming out. And I just kind of pulled it out. You know, it had great roots. I pulled it out and yeah, it has been in this pot for a little while. This is actually a candle jar. I do have a grower pot in there as well. Um, but it sits on my dining room table. It gets north facing uh, light. So it doesn't get a ton of light in the morning or afternoon, but it gets a lot of bright evening light. So I guess as, you know, as long as the fiddle leaf fig gets a good amount of bright light, it will thrive. One thing that I will tell you about fiddle leaf figs is I, about once a month, will wipe down the leaves. I find that the fiddly figs leaves get more dusty than any other plant that I have in my collection. I don't know if it's because he's big. I don't know if it's because they just are like dust magnets, but I find, I mean, you can even see like, I probably need to like go over and dust this fiddle because he's already dusty. I wish I could give you guys like more care tips other than what I just have said because I know that these plants can be a struggle. I know that um, they get a bad rap. Like a lot of people are like, I love fiddly figs, but I just don't want to deal with the heartbreak kind of thing. I've seen poor little fiddles that have like one leaf on a stem, but I'm like, just keep going, it will grow. You can also notch the stem on it. I did that right here on this guy, so you guys can see that where I like notched it and it grew a new stem on it. You literally just cut a V shape or wherever you want a new growth to grow on the stem and it will grow a new growth. I have not tried to propagate it. Um, I know that a lot of people will do air propagation, um, kind of wrap moss around the stem and propagate it that way. Um, I have not tried to propagate these. Uh, the only thing that I've done is kind of taken it out of the soil like a new growth. Um, this guy actually has a new growth as well so I might either keep that or, or leave it. I don't really know yet. <laughs> I'm just letting them ride for now. So fiddly figs will also get this thing. This happens when you 
out over water your plants other than root rot. They will show you this um, stuff. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I'll put it up here so you guys can see the name. But um, that happens when you overwater your fiddle. Also, you'll have some leaf drop if you overwater your fiddle as well. I've seen all over Instagram a, a trend, I guess, that's going on right now where people will shake the trunk of the fiddly fig and apparently they like that. They like to be shaken. I guess that, because that's what basically happens in the wild is they get, they shake, so. But yeah, in the wild, the um, wind naturally will kind of shake the, the tree where it's in your house. You don't have wind blowing all the time. So every, like, I know people that do this every day. They'll go over and they'll shake their fiddle every day. Um, I do it once in a while, I don't know. But when you shake it, it will um, kind of train the trunks to be a little bit thicker. It kind of tells the plant like, hey, we need like, we don't want to break in half due to all this wind. So we're going to thicken up our trunks so we can um, kind of withstand the wind. But at home, they grow kind of thin just because they don't get that. It's kind of like when you're like building muscle. It's kind of like it builds muscle. So it thickens up uh, the more you kind of use it. But that's it. I mean, if you guys have any questions, please comment below. I'll be happy to answer any care questions that you have. Um, that's just kind of what I do for my fiddle and also don't forget to like this video at the end and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you're new to this channel hi I'm Amanda the botanical burnet and this is fig <laughs> as you guys already saw but um that's it that's it for today I hope you guys all have a great day and stay botanical